Greetings. Geological modeling often involves the evaluation of more than one spatial parameter, hence the term multivariate. Multivariate modeling simply means that we're going to model more than one parameter and then combine these models into a single model whose node values are determined by multiple variables. Consider some of these examples of geological evaluations that involve more than one spatial parameter. In oil and gas, we consider the thickness of the host rock, its porosity, its permeability, water saturation, etc. In hydrology, we also need to model the host rock or aquifer thickness as well as the ability of fluids to move through it. In civil engineering, we typically model a variety of parameters as part of site characterization and preparation. Geothermal studies must take into account not just the depths and temperatures but the chemical composition of the steam or water. Industrial mineral applications, such as agricultural limestone, must take into account a variety of spatial parameters that are often dictated by the end user. The list could go on and on forever. Let's take this last example involving agricultural limestone and use it to illustrate some concepts. The basic idea behind multivariate spatial analysis is analogous to Venn diagrams or overlaying transparent sheets with outline regions of interest and looking for areas of commonality. In this two-dimensional analog example, we're looking for material that meet a specific set of end-user requirements in regards to the calcium-magnesium ratio, magnesium oxide content, and calcium oxide content. Now, by outlining the regions that meet the individual specifications, and overlaying these outlines to delineate regions of agreement, we have determined where all of the requirements are fulfilled as shown by the red region. The digital approach to the previous example, albeit cumbersome to humans if attempted manually, is the foundation of computer-based spatial analysis. This method converts the maps to grids in which the acceptable regions are represented by ones and the unacceptable regions by zeros. These types of grids are called Boolean models, and they're described in more detail within the video titled Boolean Models and Filters. The grids are then multiplied on a cell-by-cell -cell basis to produce the final map showing where all three models are in agreement. Remember, any number that is multiplied by zero is equal to zero. Anything multiplied by one is equal to the original number. The red zone shows where to mine in order to extract material that meets the end user specifications. Now, let's consider multivariate modeling in three dimensions. In this case, we're going to use an example in which we're attempting to mine sand with low calcium cementation. We start with some logs depicting relative sand content. Next, the sand content is modeled to create a block diagram showing the interpolated sand percentages for the entire site. Next, we subject the sand to a Boolean filter in which voxels containing less than 70% sand are set to zero. The voxels with more than 70% sand are set to a value of 1.0 and appear as red in the Boolean model diagram. This model represents acceptable sand. Next, we see logs that depict relative calcium content. We start by creating a block model based on the measured calcium levels. Now, we subject the calcium model to a Boolean filter in which voxels containing more than 1.5% calcium are set to zero and therefore invisible in the diagram to the lower right. The voxels with less than 1.5% calcium are set to 1.0 and appear as red in the Boolean model diagram. This model represents acceptable calcium. Finally, we multiply the acceptable sand and acceptable calcium models on a voxel by voxel basis to create a model that depicts areas where both the sand and the calcium are acceptable. We're simply multiplying zeros and ones. This process is called a Boolean AND operation. A value will be true or equal to 1.0 where both the sand and the calcium are acceptable. A value will be false or equal to zero where either the sand or the calcium are unacceptable. Thanks for watching.